This is the end. Not only of my people, but of all life. We have been betrayed. Our own kind have joined these evil beasts. Soon, you too will meet your end. We can do nothing. They are too strong to be stopped. At least I am fortunate. I will not have to witness the Armageddon. I did what I could. But my time is coming to its end. You're not one of them? No. I have not sold my soul to Mephisto. Mephisto? I came here to defeat these demons, or die trying. Help me. They must have a weak spot. Something I could use to destroy them. There is only one way to end this slaughter and reverse what happened. You must close the portal that was opened by the turncoat who led the demons into our world. My only regret is that I cannot drain the lifeblood from that treacherous wretch. Is. Most of them are either dead or united with the demons. Church or not, I get the feeling there'll be some kind of altar here that won't be leading me to heaven. We're heading in the opposite direction. But that's where I need to go. Yeah, yowzers, and welcome back to Necrovision. It's me again, Niggeroth, here, bringing you the adventures of Don't Simon Buckner through the uh, pits I'm of hell. To save your world. Today we are venturing through the Crystal Chamber, fighting many evil vampires, flipping and jumping with our stakes, and new weapon, the Vampiric Shotgun. These baddies are no match for us as we stake them and shoot them to death. Continuing on with the themes of the previous episode, we have the continuing appearances of the evil vampiric race. Are they evil? Are they good? Perhaps they're just confused. I'm trying to fight for you, damn it, he says. As he proceeds to pull a switch, leading into a majestic empty arena. But is it empty for long? No, says the man in Washington. It's now... Use me, master. Use the power. It's now full of the undead. Oh no. Undead and robots. Robots with machine gun arms, grenade launcher arms, and general dickery. And Simon says to them, No, I will not stand for this. I am Simon. Shotgun ablaze, stakes are flying, fireballs are chucking. Easily dispatching. These are the mechanical guardians which we have been using in previous episodes. Easily dispatched? No. But easily taken care of by Simon? Of course. Simon's a Superman. Supermen need no kryptonite. They only need guns and booze and women and violence. And we have all that in spades. Well, instead of women, we have more robots. Fuck them. We have many orbs to pick up, so that we can continue shooting them instead of chucking fireballs. There we go. Fireball to the face, you say? How about shotguns to the crotch? How about hopping? We have it all. Picking up a few more orbs, we continue into the next hallway to get a cinematic. Hmm. Ghost afoot, you say? Ghostbusters needed, you say? No way, I say. Simon's enough for these vampires and undead ghoulies. Hurry up or die, Simon. Can't let them use it first. Stop them. Get your disc. Power up. Tron 2000. That's right, Simon's already. But first, we have a secret down here. And what's that secret? Oh, it's a fucking vampire god. Fuck him. Fuck his crotch. Shoot a fireball, Simon. Shoot your gun. 
any number of options that would in Vampire Land. And the only option for this big gent is death. Hop on his body. It's a trampoline. Whee! And what do we have down here? The next vampire weapon. Need a close shave? Of course you do with the vampire razor. And another vampiric artifact. Yeah, yowzers. I'm all steam. The vampire artifact is very proficient. Proficient at what? Shooting rockets, of course. And these damn vampires stand little to no chance. There's our mechanical buddy waiting for us. But first, let's take another look into this room. Quite spacious. Enough room for a mechanical guardian, you say? Of course. Mechanical guardian away! Sadly, though, there's little or no... Oh, we do have enemies. Where did they come from? Why weren't they there before? My only answer is bullets, bullets, and more bullets. Yes, yowzers. Grenades are flying. These, do, these guys have little to no chance. They're bugaboo. And all the flood... All the flutter to my stream of bullets. But boy, can they be pesky little boys. Good couple of bullets to the face, a couple of well-placed grenades, and oh no! Another mechanical guardian. He's not my friend. No siree. My only friend is death. The Grim Reaper holds my business card, and he calls me up sometimes for brunch. And I go to brunch with death, and we talk about all my fun times in the underworld, where he would be if he were not busy collecting souls. Continuing on with my mechanical friend. Fuck you, spider. More for the party? Well, don't hold back. There's plenty of me to go around. There's plenty of Simon. He's all man. All beef. Hide in this corner. What for? Grenade to the back. How unsightly. Fuck you, vampires, with your razor arms. Too bad you're too stupid to use them, because you'd rather run up and give me kisses. Metal kisses. That's what I give back. Lead bullets of kisses. Consider yourself purified by the ever-loving flames of Simon. More vampires, more razors. Quite a deadly scenario indeed for our mechanical friend. But what does our mechanical friend say in return? Fuck you, death. I'm not ready yet. More vampires? More bullets? Oh no! Mechanical Guardian down! Mechanical Guardian down! But we have the solution of our own. Grenades! Razor grenades! But we don't want to use that right now. Instead, we want to kick, flame, and move on. Because that's the American way. Oh no, Simon. That isn't the way to go, silly boy. It's a dead end. Simon's all turned around. Perhaps a map would be in order. Or perhaps even looking at the nearby compass. Oh, Simon, won't you ever learn? Baby caskets? What are they for? Who knows? What dangers lie ahead? Steam works? Whoa! That's so 1900s. Then where are the 19 teens? More undead? Quite unwieldy. But I have the solution for them. Claws! Not Santa Claus, mind you. No, it's not even December. Instead, we give them Death Claws. Death claws, shotgun shells, flying bodies, lightning! All the mixtures for an evil plan. But not a real evil plan, because we're totally good. Super good. Super cool. Taking care of our last two journeymen. Dive, you. 
and one last vampire, bloody foreigner. We continue over here to a very well-placed secret. Well-placed my ass, it's right in the open. And what do you know? Originality has gone out the window. What's the next secret? In the same exact type of room. Bad design? No. Stupid design? Yes. Continuing on. Into another hallway. More